down, ladies and gentlemen. We're just about to get started for your Fortescue Premier Grade Clash of the Week. Three versus four on the table, as explained before. It's a cold, windy day, expecting a little bit of rain later. Your referee for this afternoon's fixture, Kyle Burnett, out in the middle. Just assessing the situation, checking everything's okay on Cottesloe's end. And it'll be Walter Koteca to get us underway. His brother, Kane Koteca, comes back into this West Scarborough side in the number six jersey and takes the captaincy. Nice high central kickoff. Gathered well and hits the line with pace. Nice little tackle first up by, I believe, Mio and someone else. Maul there. Trouble here for Cott. They've gone forward enough. Can they get free here? I don't think they will. Scrub down. Big win first up, and they're all getting up and about for their home fans, West Scarborough. They want to get a bit of feeling involved. Massive clash for both sides here. I believe James Walker on the first hit tackle. They've done well just to drag him across the field. Just nothing happening there. Uh, they were West Scarborough doing well. First scrum of the afternoon. Crouch. Rory Walker with ball in hand. Five. Set. Straight down. Cottesloe. Danger here. Lots of big power forwards up front here this afternoon for both sides. Full grave Reedy, Fatty Atoa. Full Cottesloe. And then went Holt, Hemi and Kidd. But I believe Nick McLennan in one actually instead of went Holt. So even more power up front, both of these experienced front rows. Hoskins. Roach. Kateka at the back for both. Fine. Early engage. West Scarborough just falling over. Two. Free kick goes the way of Cotters though. Two. Early engage. Two. And they'll scrum it back down. They want to see the contest early. It's good to see. Muddy conditions on the field. You can see not much grass there at all. Soft underfoot. It's had a bit of wear and tear this pitch this season. Not quite as, as good, Nick, as those brand new clubhouses in the back room that West Garborough have just opened. Good facilities in there. A couple of big TVs. Fine. Set. Good hit this time. We're underway. Stable up front for both. Not wanting to give an inch. Goes to the pocket and they're going to clear straight away. They want to go territory against the wind here. Gathered by Kanoa at the back. He's just going to kick long. Testing ball early for Jack McDermott. He's going to mark. Doesn't want to mess around with it. Both these teams feeling each other out. Early in this contest you can feel. Good kick into touch. Just shy of halfway. Be West Scarborough's ball, just a free kick. That's a good exit. So wind blowing left to right across your screen. It has been swirling though, sometimes pushing towards the clubhouse, sometimes pushing back towards the camera. They walk in quickly, barely had a line set there, Scarborough. Gonna have to be careful there, but that'll be straight onto them soon. Kateka inside ball. They want to spin wider early again. Mio. Sorry, it wasn't Mio, it was Brown. Nice little ground and quick recycle. Walker gets it in and out. Kateka goes wider. 
Just fumbling around with it though, losing forward through the point of contact. Little grubber over the top, sorry, chip Contact over the top. Six blue Come back, from the, Come back for the scrub. See here, there's a good couple quick recycles through this bit of play. See Walker ready there, fires. It's good to be in position early. Just losing it forward eventually out wide there. Almost early this time for Cot. Lots of pressure pouring in now. West Scarborough under a lot of pressure. They're maintaining shape here, but they're going to be unlucky. It's going to come out the back. Could have got on that. Mio goes straight over the top, trying to win turnover. He's been blown off. So they pull out left for Kid. Sorry, for full grave. Nicely up towards the line. Fadia Tova. Wide ball deep. Just trying to reset the line, bouncing off once and twice. Really good little run there, Gregory Jackson. Short side was on again, deciding against it, popping off to the right. Peter Kilman. <laughs> Penalty there, no roll. Four, let's roll quicker. Four. Just see here as we come into contact, they just get it a little bit mixed up on the far side. And it's gonna be four who makes the tackle, just gets stuck underneath everything. Shot called in the meantime. You just see number four, nowhere near getting out of the way there. Paul Hamber, nowhere to go. Clean strike of the ball, flirting with the left. I think it's rolled through off the top of the flag. ARs took a second just to confer with each other, but it's been successful. They move up on the scorecard, the away team. It's West zero, Cottesloe three. Taking the points, proving to be beneficial. Benjamin Meredith on the board. No love lost, quick restart here. Kateka goes long left. Couple across the back. McDermott just clears. Line out on the 40. Lost backwards off the top, then eventually regathered, brought through. Walker, short side. Nice little run. Down the blind there. McLennan. Fights his way forward. One straight over the top. Lost now, got to get called off it. 
Masoridi did well. Numbers wide. Chance real wide here for West Scarborough early. O'Donovan trying to crack through the first couple. Gets inside the 22. It's a solid entry. Comes free. It's going to be advantage. Knock on straight through the middle. Can they get the last pass over the line? It's going to be close. Going to be half a metre short here. West Scarborough looking real threatening. Going to get a second penalty there. Could be going straight to the bin. Seven blue straight off. Professional foul. Is going to be Nathan Kendrick. So 14 on 15. Very early yellow card in this piece. Trying to give it away. They could just level it up, calling for the shot here. We'll try to get a look at that penalty for you in a second. See, that was working to the line really well here, Cottesloe. Just killing over the top the first time there got called off but that was okay it's a great break by O'Donovan down the right hand side here does well to keep this alive and as we get towards line so Cottesloe scrambling we get there this pass is great and then just Cottesloe killing the ball here never really released never really on his feet seven just completely collapsed over the ball it's a fair enough penalty and it's a pretty fair yellow card Carl Burnett wanting no nonsense out of this one this afternoon. Knows how much these teams want to go at it with each other. No boys on the line. Blue on the line. Easy as you like, levels this game up, penalty successful, three points apiece here. And now Cottesloe are going to have one in the bin. Kickoff out left, only just managing to hold on to the ball. Well done, Paul Hamber. Slow play of the ball here. Happy to pick. A pick again. Koteka in the pocket and wants to go long here. It's a solid kick. Better catch. Fifi Fitova just hands it out for McDermott, who kicks wide. Could have left it to go out on the full, but wants a piece of it. Grubbers through, gets left behind. Now a little bit of chasing to be done here by Timothy Parks. Eventually gets there after a handy little bit of shepherding. No, offside, we're coming straight back. Six blue offside. Okay. Big scrum here now. Rain starting to fall. West Scarborough can get in front here. Crouch. Fine. Set. Big blindside option here. One on one. Hit and chase. And then going straight through, ball available at the back. West Scarborough lucky to get away with this one. Nice piercing run straight through the middle. Okay, Pierce did well. Messy old rucks. McLennan picks and goes. Backs are swinging over to the right now. They want to release the other way. Chances for turnover slows the ball down. Koteka standing still, wants to release. Gunnigan gets it free. Now on the outside, big chance for another try. Sorry for the first try of the afternoon. West Scarborough, easy as you like in the corner. They're looking just a little bit too sharp at home here this afternoon. They've come to play. And in the corner, Darren O'Donovan gets the first try for the day. 
See, it was a good ball from Kateka, just struggling to hold onto it for a second there was Kanoa. It's just good to get it wide early. Tobias Hoskins chasing for the tackle, does well to get there, but it's just running out of room. Darren O'Donovan just dots it over. He's come into the side, Lewis Walker injured at the moment, has been playing fantastically in recent weeks. So it's good to see they've got the stocks to come up and just fill that hole. They've ended up pushing Kanoa from 14 back to 15. In laps of Walker. They bring O'Donovan onto the wing. Solid options there. Eight to three kick to come. Kanoa got you in. There's a lot of time here. Make sure of it. Difficult kick. With the wind, it's going to push it towards the goal. Here's a righty. So if you can just start this one inside the left upright, let the wind, a little bit of a fade off the boot, do the work. It's a good strike. It's going to go over with ease. Good lift in the background for the kid to try. Take a catch. Ten plays three. So we take one more look at it. Solid off the back of the scrum. Walker, that was a great inside ball as well. Can't be discounted. Released it perfectly timed. After those couple picks and goes, then they just saw the back started sweeping around to the right here. And then Kateka was ready for it. They got slow ball, didn't think they'd be ready for it. But we'll go back live with Cottesloe going deep inside the 22. And they'll just get this one straight back up the other end. Wind assisted. They need to make sure of it this half. McDermott, Hoskins. Thinking about his first run of the game, shaped a kick, but then takes on Mio. Nowhere to go. No! Advantage. Penalty advantage offside. Seven offside. Seven. Good little gift Seven here for Cop. Never back on. Good kick into touch, now puts Cottesloe in a little bit of an attacking position. See what kind of setup they go with. They're just sitting inside the 22. 20 metres will be the trip. Messy old line out at the back. They just secure it through Fadi Atoa. Blindside little swing. Little grubber through. Chance for the winger to get there, but it is actually the hooker instead. Not quite the pace. Now dribbles through into the end goal. We'll have a see what Burnett wants to say about it. It's going to be 22. <laughs> a penalty. That's just silly. Don't know what he's doing there. He's got absolutely no rights to the ball. Throws away a silly penalty there. Moe, little brain fade, line out on the 40 right in front of us. Up at three, hotly contested, managing to get it free. Walker did well to get onto the ball, inside ball from Kateka. Nice little run by Kate Pierce. Now they go on the outside. Trying to feed through, Mio gets on the end of it. Ball available, and they'll go flat across. Could have thrown that ball, thought about it for a second. Did walk up. Sides against it. Now flat out. Chance on the left wing, no, gone forward. Walker out on left wing there, maybe back. A few jersey changes to the list here. Apologies to all. Oh, 
Crouch. Fine. Set. Big scrum, West Scarborough. They're going to get rewarded for it as well. Driving up and through, up that left side. They've done really well to go forward first. Nick, last time I'm talking about that. Last time I'm talking about it. They've gone forward, and they've gone around the corner. Not scrumming straight. Shot. Shot. Shot called. Looking to extend. Not scrumming straight. A big yes. showing early yes. here Off from West Garbra. But by coming into that and bumping their players, they're playing. Okay. Yeah. yeah, right on me. Is it made it back? This one missing out left will come back for a 22. Mio underneath receives a 22 back. Flat ball out left, Hemi. Kateka short side drops it, rare mistake. Gonna have a scrum down on the far side. Thought it was a good run by Hemi, you're just gonna see Kateka. Not quite completing through. Just had his eyes up, didn't complete the catch. So these scrums have been big early in the contest. Cottesloe just need to hold ground here. Certainly got the experience to be able to do so. Next force hooker. Young gun Fadia Tova. Fadia Tova, mate. Out. Fine. Set. Penalty this time goes the way of Cottesloe. Exact same picture, just the opposite way. Entry, last time we strike. Not out. Kateka takes his time inside the 22, goes really long. That's a great kick. Kicks that from his 22 up to the opposition 40. steel at the back just driving straight through the line
This is a dangerous kick, just bounces in the field of play. Nothing O'Donovan could do there, just got caught turned. West Scarborough line out just inside their 22. Solid kick there. From Meredith. Straight the call, or lost forward, sorry. Defensive scrum for West Scarborough. Can they hold on? There's a slight slip on the far side. They manage just to hold it there. Crashing up, Brad Lacey. Haven't seen too much early. Want to see a bit more of him. Kateka's going to go long again. Go central this time. It's heaving them downfield this afternoon so far. Nice chance to return here. Which way is it going to go? Driven backwards. What a tackle. No way through there. Tremendous tackling effort. And then now it's lost backwards. Everybody's all across it. Flat ball. Reedy. Pops it out the back, not sure why. Just needed cool heads there. We're coming back for the penalty advantage. One, we'll start in midfield. Now. Solid win at the top. Cotton needs to get back on the scoreboard here. Home Start moment. putting the pressure back. They've done well with 14 red. men. Now they're going to get a penalty right in front of the stick so they can shorten the gap here a little bit. Chance to try something. Little jab over the top. We're going to come back. Yes, we are. Just a high tackle. It's about th 35 out straight in front of the sticks. Good chance to get this back to a four point margin and take some time off the clock while you got one in the bin still. Yeah, no Yellow card returning now as well. Good strike of the ball. Going over the top. The gap shortens. 10 plays 6 in your Fortescue. Premier grade clash of the week.
big ruck, everybody trying to blow over the top. Pocket for Meredith, fakes out of it. Has to go sideways, lots of defensive pressure. Now Jack McDermott falls backwards and wants to clear. Kicks this one straight over towards us. Wing curls it away a little bit. Over the top of the line out. Kateka gets caught flat footed, doesn't really worry about it, just gets it out wide. They grab her it through. Bumbles around at the back. Not the greatest kick, just slaps a little bit. West Scarborough are going to be happy about that one. Not the best ever from Timothy Parks off the boot, not the most renowned kicker in the world. Another attacking opportunity here. One up in the middle is tough contest there at the front, then stripped through the air and straight through the line. This is a massive breakthrough. Takes on all the contact. Here we go, Cottesloe. Meredith, cross kick. Big chance out wide. It's going to be too heavy and roll over into touch. I like the idea, but just too much on it. Tech a little bit of worry for him. Time's on, boys. Water off. Cottesloe filling into this. Might have got the turnover. Will have the turnover. Brady Atova. Reedy towards the line. Strong legs, losing it forward through the tackle. Kick comes clear. It's going to get just past halfway and settle up with us. Inside the 22. Line out smack bang on halfway. Ready to throw. Back ball, back ball. Oh. Hold on. Want some gap? Good win up at three. They get it out wider. Good inside ball off the second look at it. Clear release there. There was big calls for it. They got it spot on. Now they can go towards the corner. See, just coming over. Absolutely no daylight given at all. No other option for the referee, Carl Burnett, to ping me over there. Cottesloe now starting to build a little bit of mo momentum. The good exiting worker, Kateka, can only hold out for so long. Hoskins jumps up at four and they set them all and start rolling forward. Got half a good setup, but it's short, so they need to be worried about getting wrapped through the middle. But they're marching and marching and they're starting to build. Got the penalty advantage. West Garber need to be careful here, not give this away too much. 
Still going sideways now, but they're up towards the line. Could dive towards it. This could be a massive opportunity for them. We're going to go penalty try, collapsing. Three or four different penalty infringements there, and there's a bit of biff after it as well. Not too much in it. But there was three or four there. Inside that one rolling wall, just giving it away. Carl Burnett says, I've seen enough here. They've done everything well enough to deserve a try. We've got four entry and then one entry. And one's going to go to the bin, Nick McLennan. That's a big loss there for West Scarborough. Now they're going to have a yellow card of their own. Nick McLennan, yellow carded for second repeated entry off the same mall. Clapsing. And now will Collazo take the front. No conversion needed. Oh, God. 10 to 13 in your Fortescue Premier Grade Clash of the Week. This is just a piece of crafty madness here, this mall. Thought they were a little bit too short and get someone swimming in the middle. They've already got penalty advantage here. And you see around the side, they go another one. And as they march towards the line, this starts going laterally. You see Nick McLennan on the left there just pushes it sideways, and that's when Burnett said enough's enough. Joining you back live, Hoskins takes it in. Meredith just goes long, fades out into touch. On the full, rare, rare mistake. That's not good enough. That's going to prick West Scarborough's ears up. Even though they're a man down, they won't mind. As long as it's not a scrum, they're happy to play. Off red, into touch. Cock get the ball back. Messy line out. Just need a better exit plan now. They go all the way up at eight. Not straight, the call. Risky on a windy day like this. And now this is exactly what West Scarborough didn't want though. They should take the line out so they don't have to make a sub. And they will take the line out. Smart play there. If they took the scrum with McLean in the front row, yellow Carter, they would have had to sub a back off or a flanker. Get a front row replacement on there. They're going to just try wait this one out till at least half time. Goes over the top of everyone this time. West Scarborough still managed to hang on to the ball. Kateka bounces around the side and gets the legs pumping. Six, six has got to move there. Kilman. Backs are lined out nice and deep here. Kateka goes flat across the face, running onto a gut in. And it's just going to be lost forward. Touch your play. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so now a front row replacement's going to have to be made here for West Scarborough. Who are they going to send off? That's the question. James Walker goes to the bench. Crouch. Find. Set. Final stages of the first half here. Not much time off at all. Huge scrum, Cotter's low, but they just hold on to it. Walker does well to get on the ball. No hands there now. 
Rory Walker's done really well to get that, and he's having a little Go chat on the next. ground to Hoskins. Pretty there. Now Kateka, flat, runs to the line. Brad Lacey does well just to secure. Looping round, good players wide here. His kid. Got big numbers if they can get this one through the hands. Running straight up towards the line, Tiamona. Penalty advantage by the looks of it here, straight through the line, Budivera. Gets hands free to the replacement prop. Walker scrambles back, cross kick. Are they chasing on? Walker not quite there, no. Come back for a penalty. <laughs> Have a look for what it's for. 13. Offside. offside. Just a little bit too eager on the outside, Al Haining getting caught offside. Point, point. So with one man in the bin heading towards half time, they point to the sticks to level this game up, enter the second half. Time? Yeah. That's time, boys. And time. Confirmed there by Kyle Burnett. This kick will send us into half time. Clean strike of the ball there. West Scarborough leveled this one up. They've still got a man in the bin for another four minutes on the uh, for the start of the second half. But West Scarborough 13, Cottesloe 13 in your Fortescue Premier Grey Clash of the Week. We'll be right back with your second half.
Chris. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the second half of your Fortescue Premier Grade Clash of the Week. Things are lighting up here. 10 plays 13. West Scarborough still four and a half minutes with a man in the bin. Cottesloe get us back underway. Has backwards, a bit of a mix-up there. Backwards. backwards play on the call. Everybody a little bit too keen to get the first carry. Ends up just going backwards off Hamber. But Cottesloe get turnover ball, and they're going to go down the left-hand side of the field, getting towards inside the 22. That's a good little carry first up, Kilman. Round the back, a little bit of confusion. Reedy was well there. Fadiato. Just a little bit high in contact. Almost gets held up. Manages to find himself to ground. Left the call with forward runners out there. Ready again. Low centre of gravity gets pulled to ground. Now they release deeper. Almost a chance for obstruction, but no. They play away from it. Penalty comes straight from the pilfer. Cottesloe stood off it. Hugh Huppertaz in danger and gets done. Take a look at the entry on here as well. So as Huppertaz goes to ground, and then who's the entry? It's got to be one. Has to be against Adam Fulgrave there. No luck, good penalty. Kateka to exit. Not out, bad kick. Wrapped up by Meredith. He fires it wide, and McDermott will jab this in the corner. What a kick. Putting the field pressure on them early. They're going to use the win to their advantage this second half. Keep them deep as long as they can force a mistake and then get the scoreboard pressure rolling. Big line out here. Just needs safety. You guys are coming in late, so they're closing the gap. In, uh, for a free kick. Burnett just wants to stop this walking in and going immediately up. It forces no gap. They go up for safety at one. It's over the back. Could be anybody's ball. Advantage knock on. And then backwards through the hands. No, it doesn't want to play away from it. Thought he could be away to the races. Simone there. But this last little bit just called forward. We'll have a look at it back here on the replay. Yeah, maybe that backwards flip. Got to be a little bit forward off the back of the hand. Line up. Scrum down West Scarborough ball. Still one man in the bin. Missing McLennan. He's their key prop. So they're just going to have to get this one in and out. If I was West Scarborough as well, I'd be putting the extra man into the scrum for the weight. But they're going with eight, no flanker. Hoping Rose. they can get this one out and exit. Fine. Lacey standing, Set. ready to receive. Crash this one up for them. Big shove by Cottesloe, though. Ball's available at the back there for Hoskins. Picks it up. Penalty advantage coming as well. Meredith checks it on the outside for Jackson. Then it goes across and out wider. Still could be over the line. Is over the line. Cottesloe immediately get one back, but there's a bit of worry in back play. He is in a little bit of trouble there. Gregory Jackson might have copped it on the way down. Try Cottesloe, but we'll have just a break here for a second. Doesn't look well. We'll try to take a look at what happened to him and the try in a moment here. But there is a lot of concern being shown here. It's a big shove, Cottesloe. Hoskins does well to control it at the back, keep it in, forces the penalty advantage. It's a good ball across for Jackson. Then how does he get this one free? It's just a great ball for Al Haining, who can just dot it over the top. Immediately, good concern being shown there by Brad Lacey from West Scarborough and lots of the Cottesloe players. So they'll have time off and wait for this one here. Concern being shown for Kateka's ankle again. I was worried in the first half about it. Immediately out of the second half now. He needs more strapping on it.
So time back on. Jackson seems to be okay. Might have just been worried about his condition early, but then now feels okay. Good work by the physio. Went through a good rigor mortis of testing there. Adding the extra two. Cottesloe extend out now with a 10-point lead. 10 players, 20. Still a man in the bin who's just returning now. So 15 on 15, yellow card back on. Kateka, not the highest one ever done nice little carry back up towards the line short ball good tip off the side pops free at the back lost forward in the middle there Peter Kilman just losing it at the bottom of the ruck after his carry it was a good little tip off the side this first carry is good it's good by Fulgrave to get this little tip off for Peter Kilman just loses it at the bottom of this ruck here. A scrum down. Forward packs are back in force here, though. Interestingly enough, they've subbed off Christopher Kidd with Nick McLennan coming back on, so the replacement prop will stay. Solid scrum. Ball was not out, says the referee. Hands were on it, but he, no, he's going to go for the scrum penalty. Angling in. Take a look up on the far side. Cottesloe just late there. Started walking that one up and around. Shot called. Just want to peg back this lead a little bit. Noah here to add the extra three. Does really well. Curls that nicely. Brings the lead back down to seven. They're within one full score. 13 plays 20. Nine minutes into the second half here in the Fortescue Premier Grade Clash of the Week. Solid kickoff. Good hang time, lets the Cottesloe line come up to meet it. Ball comes slowly, Mio picks left. McLennan will have a crack second. Lost. No, they go deep. Kanoa goes wider. Chances out on the wings. Just trying to get through O'Donovan. Arm goes out for offside. Kateka, backdoor Lacey. Now wider still, chance to Yamona. Bumps him off well. Now Haining felt that one a little bit. Mio. Kateka, wide ball, Vudiavera. Was held on the ground there, had no right to go again. So we'll come back for the offside penalty. Yeah. 
One offside. Timing. Thirty meters out from the Cottesloe line, West Garbra, big opportunity here. They've pegged back three of the points. If they can get three more, they'd be happy. But seven, they'd be ecstatic. All the way at the back, tipped over at the top. Not what they needed, though. Lost forward advantage here. Cottesloe will just run it forward. Into the pocket, using the wind. Okay, now I'll take a mark. Rushes it just to make sure there's no chase. Have a line out right in front of us here. Cottesloe ball 45 out. Beautiful throw down the middle. It's just a little bit too high. So then it's going to be turnover. Mio builds up ahead of steam. Tries to get the hands free, but causes a turnover. Maybe didn't need to throw the pass there. Pocket now. They'll go long from Meredith. Walker gets back. Has a little bit of time to think about his options. Goes on the boot, just comes a little off the toey inside. And we'll be in a similar position as we just were. Same line out. Can Cottesloe execute on this occasion? Big grab from Tobias Hoskins at the back. Meredith goes short ball and they're going to recycle around for a few. Good little carry around the fringe of the ruck. Meredith straight on the boot again. Doesn't have a quite enough angle. I don't think this one's going to run into the end goal. Could go dead as well, will go dead. It's going to be a scrum back where he kicked it. Just back over halfway. Silly little mistake there. It's the right option, just a little bit too greedy. See off the back of it here. Both were trying to call for the ball. They all wanted to kick it. Not enough angle. Had a solid scrum before once we saw the full complement back on the field for West Garber. We'll see what they can come up with now. Set out four Ouch. left, one right. Sorry, four Five. left, two right. No full back. Set. Gets pink for offside. Walker hadn't taken the ball out the back. Tiamona. They got a penalty advantage. Footy of error goes straight through. Ball was out. They come through, get it clean. Footy of error did well to pop that one off the back. Now they're going to go wider. Need to get towards the ball here. They're running well, but they need a little bit more support over the top. Cotter's lower there, but we're coming back penalty. It's good off the scrum here. Just need to wait at that flanker's feet. Walker hasn't lifted the ball up. It's once the ball's clear of the back feet of the scrum, not once he's got hands on. Just getting his timing wrong, Timothy Parks, on the last couple of occasions. Might just have a little chat about some of the push and shove in back play. It's been a bit of it. And now we 
we're bringing some players in as well. well hopefully the ref mic picks this up. Not going to be able to, but we're having a strong chat about behaviour, I can guarantee you. Time is off. Time is off. So I think that's a final warning for both teams. There was chat before the game to both teams about coming in late and after the ruck sort of pen, uh, after the ruck sort of push and shove. Uh, seen a little bit of it already in this first half. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah we're back here. Thank you. Now we'll get back underway. Good. Back for the original penalty. Final warning for no, both teams. Side. Nicely nudged inside the 22. Yeah. Well, Scarborough goes set full line. They try rush one up at the front. Good work coming through the middle, stopping that pass out. Peter Kilman has had a good game today. Happy to rumble around the fringe for the moment. It's good defense here from Cott. McLennan spins around after receiving a handoff. Tecker says no to Walker, wants it go back blindside, use the forward still, doesn't want it yet. Tackle release. Wants to wait for this to be perfect. <laughs> Penalty, no release. Tackle release. That's exactly what West Scarborough want here. Starting to build some pressure. It's a tricky kick from there, but certainly could take the three if they want them. Take a look at the penalty here. Was Peter Kilman there this time? Getting to ground, I think. No, it wasn't Kilman there. It must have been. The tackle assist around the far side. And they're going to go the line. They want the try. They want to level this one up. Go to the front again. They've gone shorter line out this time. They've got some big forward runners set midfield. Faking up at front, then go really low to the front of the line out. Lost forward. That's just awkward all round when you're behind. You don't want to be trying to do that too early. Come back for the scrum. Seven red. Playing without the ball, we come back for all with a penalty as well. We'll see what happens after the ball here. Footy Avaya wasn't happy about something. Yeah, it does hit late. Just caught it on the screen there. Knew the kick was there. And goes to completely wrap it around. Cottesloe well get a free exit. Off the field, please. Off the field, Not the longest exit, but an exit nonetheless. Cotter's logo really long to the back. Nice lift, nice throw. No engagement, scrum. Really well done, West Garber, to not get involved there. No more, boys. Forces to the back. There was no more. See here, no no engagement at all at the back of this line out. It was a good setup. No one touches it at all there. And they get sacked at the back. Really well done. Good law knowledge from this West Garber pack. They get the turnover they needed after a silly couple of mistakes. They need to get back inside the 22. They need to level this one up soon. We're coming up on 20 minutes gone in the second half. A little bit of time off to account for. 
you just feel this game's either going to blow open or this frustration level between both sides is going to keep Five. building if the score pressure doesn't release either way soon. Ball's clear at the back. Walker waits. They keep it in and start shoving. They get the advantage they're looking for. Here we go, West Scarborough. What can they do with penalty advantage in hand? They go back to in. Goes wider still, Lewis Walker. Forward pass, we're coming back. And surely now they take the gift three points. May as well get something on the board for their efforts here. It's a good scrum to keep that one in. Thought it was going to pop out the back for a second, but Kankateka, good experience, keeps that one in. See what the call is once they get the ball across. Looks like they might just be going to the line. They want to level this one up in one swift movement. Only seven behind. It's risky. They've had a couple cracks at this corner. We'll see if they can pull one off here finally. Up at two this time. They've only just managed to hold on to the ball, but they can't set up the mall. Ball eventually looks like it's available. Yes. Big pressure now time. Can they get over the line? They're going to pick left. Mio does well, but he's crunched backwards. Lots of weight comes over the top. Now picking Kateka. Kateka drives towards the line. Nothing there still. Putting a lot of pressure on. Cottesloe scrambling. There's not much space on the right-hand side, but there's... A good chance they're going to take a dive at it. Now the counter ruck comes, ball spilling away everywhere. Kyle Burnett says play on, might be a turnover. Was turned over, then collapsed ruck. Ball goes back the way of the team moving forward on the push where Scarborough get ball in hand. They can't get this line out right in the corner. They've had three or four cracks at it in this half. And each time it's just not coming off cleanly for them. Yeah, they're going to give it a good crack with pick and drives here, but the option is to get a rolling mall set up there or at least get it cleanly away to the back line. That's not where they want to be off that penalty. Big scrum here. If West Garbrook can produce another big pushover, they might be looking towards the line through Kateka just putting it down. This game has to crack open at some point soon. Thirteen plays, twenty-seven points. The difference. Fortescue Premier Grade Clash of the Week down here at Bennett Park. Big scrum. Crouch. Fine. Yeah, a little bit unsettled early there. But now wants to see it again. Ready to go again. Almost a small knock on at the back of the scrum. Eventually picked up. Kankateka goes towards the line. Is he there? I think he is. Burnett's all over it. They reckon he's short. They're going to play on. Gee, he would have had to have been close there. That's a hard one. It's just going to be collapsed. Ruck going forward there short. Gee, need to see the replay of the grounding here. Kateka was in shambles at the back of the scrum. Almost losing it forward here. Keeps his hand off it, then picks up. Shrugs off the nine. Let's see where he gets to towards the line. We're looking at the white paint there. Oh, and it's hard. He's very close to the line. Okay, Kateka, very, very close. We'll have another scrum, get another chance at it. But once again, the pressure gauge just keeps building inside the 22 here for West Scarborough. Cottesloe doing a good job of holding out. How long for? Yeah. 
front rows earning their paychecks here this afternoon, that's for sure. Happy to keep rumbling through. This one twists a little on impact. It's going to force a little bit of pressure on near side. They end up getting it clear with penalty advantage. Big crashing run for the 25. Trying to get towards the line. He's held up. Needs to come backwards now. Otherwise, it's going to be a more. It's going to come back for the penalty. Still up. We're coming back. They're going to go penalty from the scrum. No, it wasn't penalty advantage, was it? Burnett coming back. Yes, we are. Standing up on the far side. So another chance here. Uh, concern there for Timothy Parks. Can't quite see. Might just be his fingers. Time off would be called. Make sure you boys are before time comes on again. Do you want to scrum it? Scrum. We'll scrum it. Yeah, we'll just wait for him to finish. <laughs> scrum down. Scrum over here, boys. So time back on. Using the penalty to go for the scrum again. They want to see this one get pushed over the line. They need to find the try. They've spent that much time inside the 22 now that it's going to have to happen for them. Otherwise, it's going to be a large waste of position and a few cracks at the post they could have taken. Committed to the decision. They want another scrum and they need it to be big. Fine. Solid hit again. Few feet slipping. Lots of traction at the back there. Going to have to release the backs. Big run. Goes back to Orkateka. Lewis Walker out on the wing. He's got a little bit of space to burn. Dives towards the line and he's in in the corner. After all that forward play, just like that, ball gets fired out for Lewis Walker in the corner. It's going to be a difficult kick. But West Scarborough move up 18 points to 20 with a kick to level things up here. This scrum went absolutely nowhere. The rig replacement 25 sitting and waiting. Everyone expects him to crash it. They've got Kankateka in the back pocket who just releases wide immediately. And look at the pace Lewis Walker. Try scoring machine in this second half of the season. And he's done really well there to finish that one off. 18 plays, 20 kick to come. So a big kick here for Kanoa. 
if he can get this one over, level things up. The crowd here might go nuts. But big focus here for Cottesloe now. This has been interesting. They haven't really been able to get their hands on the ball for the last eight or ten minutes. Kick comes in. It's a great looking kick. Absolutely nails it, levels the game up. Tells them to lift as well on the way back. Wants this team to keep going. Cottesloe need to get some ball in hand. They need to keep this one trapped. They've got the wind advantage to kick to the corners. And they may as well keep them there and try to force the same mistakes. And West Scarborough being able to cause through Cottesloe. Kankateka, the captain for today, comes straight back at them. Big run. Kateka wants to exit clear. Big chance here, West Garfield, just, uh, sorry, for Cottesloe, just to dot this one back over the top. They do so. Doesn't have the angle to get out. is going to have to do well. He might just clear this one. Gives himself a little bit of angle, but not his best kick. It's only going to be about 30 out from the line. And West Garfield need to get onto things here. Trouble once again. Timothy Parks in back play. He's calling the bench. He might only have a couple of minutes left in him. The halfback has been instrumental today. And Parks now will go to the sideline. Tough day. Campbell, I want this quicker, please. We need to speed this game up. Okay. Thank you. Cock goes strongly up at seven, then Tobias Hoskins loses it forward. A little bit too casual at the back of the line out, Tobias Hoskins losing one forward. No good there at all. Looks like Fifi Totova has moved from the wing into halfback for Cottesloe. Replacement that maybe came on Nicholas Leocono. Move into right wing. Secret speedster is. Could be a big challenge against Walker. Another big scrum. Forwards have had plenty of it this afternoon up front. Kateka. Doesn't go to Kateka. Goes in front. Try to get a name for you on the big 25s. Or doing some good Lost. running there for them. Might be Hunter Boys. Wider still for McLennan to take a carry. Wasn't McLennan, sorry. Not much mud on the jerseys now. Hard to tell some of them apart. Mio. Quick recycle available. They go back short side though. They want to work it for one more. Calls for a loss forward. Counter ruck starts coming. Kateka. Now they need this one to quickly come out for the backs. Kateka to the boot. It's not going to be out. They're coming around the back of it. Chance for McDermott to shape something up. Goes Torp. This could bounce awkwardly against Walker. Nup sits up perfectly for him. Lewis Walker. Does well to pass that one, but then struggling to stay. Tiamona. They slow it down. Kateka to the line. Climbs well. Lost. Kateka, Lacey. Going wider, still boys, then out wider again. Grub it through on the right-hand side. Knock back the call. Kicked long again. They want a mistake out of this West Scarborough back three. It's not going to come. Kano is going to run this one and then kick central. Need to send one more back. Now a chance to kick once again. They want to just jab one in. Walter Kateka, happy to see this one into touch maybe. And does so. Ends the battle. And it's going to find its way into touch just shy of halfway. Both these teams want the territorial battle to come at the form of a mistake. Get the upper hand. Deadlocked here, 20 points apiece. Five minutes left on our clock, but it's probably about eight to nine, I would say, with time off added in. 
Go bring it down. Good win at three. Now they find it out left. Lost 14. 13. No, he lost. Ruck their hands. Good chance for Cottesloe now. Safe kick inside the 22. Just see this Ruck penalty. Just silly. Ruck's formed. And then still try to go into it with hands on that third attempt. It's just not there. Doesn't quite get the metres on the kick they were hoping for. Around 30 metres the trip. Good win in the middle of the line. Hapataz did well. They formed them all up, but it's not going anywhere. Both teams with a solid structure. Now they peel off right. No, sir. Cottesloe want a slow roll this one. If they can draw a penalty, it would be huge. Jackson. Lost! Blindside opportunity again. Really good work rate for Peter Kilman today. It's doing so well. Nowhere really to go there for Fitoa. Right hand side. Full grape. Gets him inside the 22 now. Good phase work so far. Hoskins. Just want to keep climbing. Counter up, comes straight through the middle. Nick McLennan causes an absolute muster, but then the next arriving player off feet. All with hands. And now a chance just to take the three, move back in front in this contest. Take a look at it one more time. Now slow to play this one out the back off this next ruck here. Oh, and Cottesloe go the corner in the meantime. First Sorry, counter ruck was good, Nick McLennan, then second one just goes hands. Gutsy play here. Cottesloe don't take the points. They want to try. I think they've got more of an opportunity in the corner than a gift three. Trick line play. They form them all. They're a little bit wide base set, so it's going to be hard. They structure around to the left so they can start shoving forward. Now they're moving with a little bit of intent, but there's plenty of West Scarborough players wrapping up the ball here. They're going to struggle to get that one free. It's going to come down. West Scarborough win the ball. Why don't you take the three points when go for a risky strategy like that when with less than about five minutes to go, you could be in front of this game and seal it out. Critical error, I'd say, from Cottesloe. Not understanding that one bit. Scrum down West Scarborough ball. They're not safe yet, but certainly feeling a lot better than down on the scoreboard Thumbs kicking on. off again. A couple of players down in back plate. He's been Lots of tired bodies out there now. Multiple receiving, strapping and everything in this time off. Bit of water being taken in. Still just waiting for one more leg to be strapped. Then we'll be back underway. Kankatek are ready now. Oh no, 
Uh, still yeah, one on the red. ground. Is there? Ready to go. West Scarborough scrum. Deep in their 22. Just looking to exit. They'll try get this one out the back of the scrum to boys. Crouch. 